Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to see about user interface analysis and design. Right. We will complete this video, this part, this concept in two parts. In part one, we will complete the interface analysis and design models. And the second part, we will go through the, the process. Right. So before going to see the interface analysis and design model, first we need to understand in any kind of work, we need to do the first important part called analysis. Through that analysis, we can understand and we can estimate and we can we can gather the information. What are the things needed to complete this work? Right. So after the doing the analysis, so we got very important four models are there. They are user model, design model, users mental model and implementation model. Right. So in users model. It is it is kind of a work which has which has given by the human engineer or the software engineer. His main intention is need to create a profile of the end users. And they need to concentrate in which particular area our application is going to using. That means suppose take an example of a application called Facebook. So Facebook is most mostly used by the most widely used by the at the age youngsters. That means or majority youngsters will be used. That means all kind of people are using, but majority youngsters will be used. That means these kind of background work and these kind of uh, uh, essential things can be done by the human engineer or software engineer. Those parameters are need to make a profile regarding age, gender, physical abilities, education, culture and ethnic background, all the things into one profile that particular thing comes under the user model. And next mental model. So this is this is the this is a model which need to which need to understand the user's psychological uh, psychological way of thinking that means we need to create an image for the end users so that so that our our application will create a lot of impact right those things will come under the users mental model right and it's coming to the the most important part called implementation model right this implementation model combines the complete output manifestation of the computer based system that means all the look and feel so this is the heart if the if there is no perfect implementation so then then we can't able to uh, figure out the uh, users mental ability or all the or we can't be able to uh, capture the profile also so that this is the very good combination with the combination of implementation model and mental model will makes the end user in very comfortable way to use or to access our application. All right, before going to the implementation model, we need to come across the design model, right? Here, a design model is a kind of a object based. That means it, it need to represent the work, the user interfaces, the idea, the, the mental approach, all the things in the form of a diagrams in a diagrammatical fashion, which helps the implementation very easy that means we need to capture the user's view and we need to make our product need to be used by the users so that this design model is very much useful for the developers so that they can able to understand what are, what are the things need to be uh, successfully implemented in the implementation model right these are the simple information about the interface analysis and design models right in next part we will see the the process part in part two right thanks for watching